Hello everyone, it's Janet here with another design team project for Wild Orchid Crafts and the Wild Bunch. Another Valentine's project. I made a couple of jars for my daughters for Valentine's Day. And these beautiful jars I got from Michael's are just um, kind of, they have a fleur-de-lis glass at the top. And then I just made a, I took a picture of them. I don't know if you can see it because I kind of made it faint. There it is. Um, I took a picture. This is my youngest daughter and her husband. And I put it in my print shop. And in this one, I wanted to do this one in more of the coral colors. And so I changed the color into the corals. And then I lightened the picture because I wanted it very subtle. And I printed it out on just plain old watercolor paper. Just a just have a pad of that that I cut down to eight and a half by eleven and put in my printer. So I just took a piece of that and I wrapped it around the jar. <clears throat> and then on the back I put eyelets in. I put five eyelets down there. And then I just wrapped some of the beautiful wild orchid crafts seam binding. And for this one I used the vintage seam binding ribbon in the pink salmon SB00015 so and I just started from the bottom and then made a bow at the top <clears throat> turned out really pretty how's that corset type look and in inside in this one I wanted the candies to coordinate with the colors that I've used so I bought a package of the sweet tart conversation hearts but I just took out these um, peach and the salmon pink and the white and put them in there so that is what is on the inside and then on the top <clears throat> and the bottom I used some of the Gapur lace and this one up for this jar I used the Gapur white lace LA let's see 00029 so I use that all around the bottom edge and then I also did it all around the top edge. And then on underneath I made a bow out of some of the off-white pearl string trim which is WD00023. So I have kind of a bow swooping under here and then I've draped it around here and then I draped it over here. And I also used under that, I used some twine to hang this little heart charm. And that also is from Wild Orchid Crafts and that's from the Mixed Heart Charm Pack. And that's JW00022. And there were just a bunch of different hearts in there and I used that one. I tied it on some twine and then I draped the twine around and I used one of these little hearts that are the sh heart shaped flat back pearls and the number on that is REZ030 and so they're just these little heart shaped half back pearls and I just put one right there. So then I also for the bow on top of here I used some of the beautiful silk ribbon, which is SK00016. And this is a, a rose, but it really kind of a coral rose. It really went well with the colors. And then on top of that, I took some roses from, you can see right in the center of that little arrangement, is some roses from the Pink Tone Roses Pack, three quarter inch. And that number is EX00016. So I have three of those roses right here. And then peeking out of the top there, I have a couple of those deep ivory hip rosebuds, BUD136. So those are peeking out of there. So that is that jar. I'm really happy with the way it came out. And I really wanted to make it, it is a Valentine's gift, but I wanted to make it so that it was something that they could display and put different candies in and, and have any time they wanted to have it out. It wouldn't necessarily have to be just at Valentine's Day. 
so they are a very romantic couple so I think this will be a really nice gift for them and now for my other daughter she loves turquoises so I have a picture of her and her husband on here and I faded that out with more of the turquoise and <clears throat> this was for my youngest daughter's wedding so they both he had a bright pink tie on and she had a bright pink dress so I don't know if you can see that so I wanted to pull in the bright pink with the turquoise so the same kind of effect here, I made the corset on the back with the eyelet right there. And on this one, I used the Paradise Aqua seam binding. And that is SB00022, such a beautiful color. And my daughter loves aqua, so I think she'll really love that. And I also just had to use some of these sprays. <clears throat> there are these right here. You can find them in the wedding section at Wild Orchid Crafts. And they're called White Pearl Sprays. And the number on that is WD00031. So you can find these in the wedding section. But they make great little sprays. So I have that. <clears throat> off the side there. This one I used a little bit different Gapure Lace for the top of this. I only have a little scrap left of it. I use this lace until I very, and I still keep my scraps because I'll find something to use that for too. And this Gapure Lace is LA00022. Lace right here, and that's what I have on the top and on the bottom. And then I just felt like it needed this one needed a little bit more color, so I put a little. I had some real teeny velvet aqua trim that I put around the top edge here. And I yeah, there's the picture actually comes out better in person. I don't know if you can see it as well. I did want it subtle, but it, it looks really good in person with the aqua paper. And then for this little arrangement I used some of this gorgeous fuchsia silk ribbon and that's SK00013 and I have made a bow out of here and just draped it and cut the edges and put a little glue under there. And then this little metal piece was from my stash and then I have this aqua flower. I'll have to put the link for it down below. Um, I, on the top of it, I just put a little of this pearlizing, Americana pearlizing medium right on the flower and it gave it a really nice little shimmer effect. So I did that for that. And then I have some, I have one of the pink tone hip rosebuds peeking out. That's these little guys here. That is from the BUD139 Pink Tone Hip Rosebuds Mixed Pack. And that's this one right here. And then I have one of the small Pink Tone Roses, the 3 8 inch size, EX00014 from the Set A Pink Tone Roses Pack. Love these little guys. So I have one of those peeking out there. And then, of course, the Pearl Spray. And in this one, I took a package of the M&Ms and took the red ones out and left the bright pink, the pink, and the white in there to coordinate with my color scheme. So I was really happy the way that both of them turned out. I'm still going to make them each a card and um, then I'll package these up and I'll probably do a video on that. And also coming up, I'm redoing my craft space. Um, some of it's the same, but I am doing a reorganization so I'll be having a tour of that up soon. So thanks everyone for watching. Bye.